you want to make multiple paths in a Salesforce flow, you are in the right place. Welcome to Salesforce Help Club. I'm Isaac, and this is a two minute tutorial. When you are making a flow in Salesforce and you want there to be a decision point where the flow could go one way or the other, you can use a decision element. This allows you to have multiple paths with different sets of actions for each of those paths. I am gonna walk you through a quick flow that uses a decision element, creating multiple paths and outcomes. Let's jump into Salesforce. In Salesforce, I have a custom field called service interested in on the lead object. And this is a pick list with multiple possibilities. I want the flow to send an email based upon the value of this pick list. So with flow builder open, I'm going to add a decision element and name it. And then I will create multiple outcomes. For each outcome, I need a label. And then I need to select the source that is going to determine the outcome. So I will go to the record, find my field, and choose the value. I'll do the same thing for the second possibility. Now when you use a decision element, you are going to have all of the paths that you create along with a default outcome. This is the path that will be chosen if all of the other outcomes are not true. So for each of these outcomes, I'm going to choose an action, send email, enter in the template ID, as well as the recipient, and then we're done. We used a decision element to create multiple paths within my flow so that different outcomes can happen based upon the criteria that I set. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you again next time.